This 17-year-old female soccer player has a significant crossover sign indicative of substantial pincer impingement. At arthroscopy, she has a very robust labrum, which is damaged. The bony prominence of the overhanging pincer is evident. Acetabuloplasty is being performed, preserving the main substance of the labrum. The labral tissue is being inspected. The chondrolabral disruption influences the suture pattern selected for reapproximating the labrum. Anchor placement is performed in a consistent fashion with the drill sleeve placed percutaneously from a distal site. In this case, the suture is passed in a modified single limb mattress fashion. A soft tissue penetrating device first passes one limb through the chondral labral junction and then comes back through the substance of the labrum to grasp the suture and retrieve it back to the capsular side of the labrum. With this pattern, as the suture is secured, it restores the chondral labral junction. A second anchor has been seated, and the suture is placed in an identical fashion. The goal is to anatomically reapproximate the labrum to the rim of the acetabulum in order to recreate its labral seal function. A third and final anchor is placed in order to provide a secure repair. Lastly, the repair site is inspected. The chondral labral junction has been restored and the main substance of the labral tissue has been preserved. With the goal of trying to provide this young lady with a more favorable long-term outlook.